Happy Wednesday. Kids and I are gonna head over with the pups to a chore while Jason gets us some treats. We are going to tag the new baby. Yep. Yep. What number is it? Four? No, we did four the other day. Oh, 20. 20. 20. What'd she have, do you remember? Heifer. Our heifer had a heifer. And we got new shirts today. Hi guys. Not today. Like, share, and subscribe to Chronicles of Farmer's Wife. That's they right. Will Comment, go for live. Tag along. Tag along. Get your buckets. <laughs> you gonna get them or not? I guess. No, listen, bro. Phone shots. No way. God, Hank looks real good, don't he? Is there a steak on him? There's several steaks on him. <laughs> he is a nice looking steer. This tan calf right here. And then there's Callie Lulu. If we ever catch that other one, we'll have what, 25 over here? 25, 26. So we'll have 26 if we ever get that other one over here. are the best, aren't they, ladies? I got them, girls. <laughs> I got them. Here. I know. They all laugh because Jason's got treats. You can win the win anybody over with some good treats, can't you? Who are you, Butler, in a 
about? <coughs> Who is this? <coughs> I'm out. <coughs> You you stole all my cows. But bays. Hi cutie patooties. If you just sit here long enough, they will come to you. They will get curious. Even Rosie says, hell with you all, I'll just go for the bucket again. <laughs> she was trying to follow me. Hello and welcome back to the Creek Farm. Chronicles of a Farmer's Wife with Kayla Lazoric and a bunch of cows. Uh, we did tag one this morning, just now. Um, we are still waiting on what, eight more? I got what, eight more? Seven more to calve? I don't know. 15, 16, 17, 12, 12. We were giving them treats. One, 21, 59, and 51. Eight more. Eight more? Okay. So we got eight more yeah. for the spring herd. I think that's right. <clears throat> I was asked the other day that, does this ever get old? Does this ever get old for you? It never gets old for me. Still out here playing with them. Um, it's a true passion and something that started when we were, well, I, when I was really young, Jason's just getting into it, but it's a passion when you can get up at, you know, every two hours when it's zero degrees outside, when it's a hundred degrees outside. Mm. When you get ran over, I get right back up. Um, if it wasn't passion, we wouldn't be out here doing this. Not to the degree that we, that we do. <sighs> She's one of my favorite show me heifers. Her name is Faith. And that's her baby behind her. And those are other two babies. My 30 herd. So if you're wondering about the random color tagging, it does have a lot of sense. So all the white tags are bull calves um, everybody has been left a bull because we're just trying to see what we're playing with. He is definitely staying a bull. And then the yellow tags go with the yellow show me select um, program that we have seven first time heifers that calved. Um, so there's uh, six of those calves out here. Um, and then the green tags are heifer calves. And then if you've noticed, we've been putting some orange tags out. Those are from our bull. So we're just trying to make sure we know which ones right now are coming from our bull because we don't want to crossbreed back our heifers to the hem. So that's these my only bull calf I got out of my show me's. And if you sit here long enough, they will come to you. They get nosy. Guys, stand still. Stand still. Kids are coming up behind me. So don't be surprised if the calves all scatter. Okay. They are nosy. Calves are nosy by cre cattle in general are just nosy creatures. If you stand here, they will come to you. Like I don't know if you can see how many feet in between us. I'm not zoomed in. There's probably five foot. And you just sit there and they will come to you. If you sit here long enough and be quiet long enough. No, Ryder. This one and me had a staring contest. Did you? Yeah. The dogs are barking, so that doesn't help. Ryder. <laughs> yep, there's a the calf. This little bugger here, he is he is definitely nosy. Um, Jason, do you remember who was born first? Was 33? He was born first, wasn't he, out of this group? 34 was born first. Okay. I know, but I was just, I couldn't remember if 33 or 34. Okay, well, I couldn't remember who was born first, 33 or 34. 
So he's the second one out of it. But I mean, look at the difference between these calves. Just phenomenal. And then we have... Thanks for tagging along. So after we got done choring, we decided to uh, run over and check some of the ground. Um, this field was the official mud lot of 2019 into 2020. Uh, this is where the fall herd was and I will put a link at the top, but this whole field was nothing but mud and ruts. Uh, John, my father-in-law came over and scraped it down. Then Jason and I spread oats and rye. So you can see the grass is starting to come back. So we drove over a couple more pastures. This is the best part about rotational grazing. Like you can just see the difference in the growth between what we mow for hay. Like this is one of our hay fields. The grass is just coming up so well and I can't wait to get into the field. It's just a matter of time. It's May, we all want warm weather. And right now we're struggling with that in Missouri. It's cold, it's raining like every other day. Farmers aren't getting in the field. Thankfully, we're not row croppers. We are strictly hay, so our time frame is a little bit different than the row croppers right now who are stressing and struggling to get their corn and beans in. This is a farm that butts up against the creek farm on the other side. calves. Can't always get their mamas to take treats from us, but the baby sure like them. This is what makes a big difference between being raised and bought. We want to be able to go out and touch our calves. We want to be able to walk through them without them scattering or trying to run us over. We do take the kids 98% of the time with us. When we wean these calves, they come home, they get desensitized to the cat, the kids, and we run them through the lots, run them through the chutes, even if we don't do anything with them. You know, a couple times a week we run them through the chutes just so they get the idea. Milky Way knows what they are though, but he was at home for so long. He was a bottle calf. Makes a big difference. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because I believe tomorrow we're going to break this big boy out, bale some rye. Stay tuned.